You look very sleepy. <laughs> Can I make dinner for you now? Only a minute. You're very fast eater. Yes. <laughs> okay. I am very confident when it comes to gyoza, making dumplings, because I learned from my Chinese friend. So I want to use about 400 gram of meat. So I need about 400 gram of veggies, more or less. And I want to use Asian cabbage. Okay. I'm gonna add a bit of salt and mix it and remove the water from veggie. Hello! I added about 2 teaspoons of salt. A lot of water came out. So I wanna squeeze off as much as I can. Okay, I'm gonna add meat, a lot of ginger, touch of sake, tiny bit, one tablespoon soy sauce, and sesame oil, one tablespoon pepper. Hi, Suji! Okay, looks good. I'm gonna cover it and leave it in the refrigerator for overnight. Thank you. Hi, are you going to help me? Are you going to help making gyoza? No, you can't eat yet. I have to make first. Today I'm a little cheating and using the gyoza wrapper from Maru Jimmy Food, Mississauga, like Ontario. It's very good. You can wrap it the way whatever you want, but I usually make this way. This one is easier to make. I think you can put more meat inside. Looking good. Some of them are ugly, but even it's a bit ugly, it's okay. Still tasty. So now everything floating and circling a bit. So this means it's done. Things are done. I made a dipping sauce with uh, soy sauce, vinegar, green onion, and a bit chili oil. And you can't have these dumplings, but I'm gonna give you a treat later, okay? Okay. Bon appetito! Nice and gingerly. 
Oh, nice crunch. You swallow it. You have to crunch it, baby. Crunch. Oh my gosh. Again.